Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week we are going over um, brewing potions or alchemy is the formal name for it. And I was looking over some of my footage from last week, and I realized I went out of my way to find saddles when I had already found saddles earlier in my series as well as diamond armor so i put uh put diamond armor on lightning there and i actually have enough diamond armor and cells put it on stormy and uh smoke i don't know which one's which one of them's the younger i don't know anyway um so i've already kind of built uh built up the potion brewing area in my basement i'm working on also expanding my uh fence around here and a creeper jumped me last time when I was coming out here to start this video, so that was awesome. Anyway, what we want to do is uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff that we have on us, just because we don't need all of this stuff. Um, I don't think we really need any of it, because I was I was just fixing up uh, what the creeper blew up. So I have some of the stuff I need down there already. The thing that we do need is at least one blaze rod. Um, I already have glowstone down there, and uh, let's see. Yep, we need some of this for that. You can also, one of the things that you can brew in this is a fermented spider eye. Um, all these potions, you can do a neg get a negative effect. There's one more thing I need. Oh, and sugar. Sugar's in the basement. Ooh, I gotta bring this downstairs too. So let's make the brewing stand. Um, I'll show you the fermented spider eye later. But first, we need to make the brewing stand, which is a blaze rod, and then three cobblestones. So there's our brewing stand. The next thing is we need uh, glass bottles. So you get your glass that you melted, you know, or cooked with, with the furnace. I'm just going to grab this stuff while I'm here. I did some digging around to get some more materials in the off screen. So... We're going to make a few, um, we'll do that. That's all we need. I don't think we need any more. And I think I'm actually going to bring, I'm going to bring a, a, a crafting table down there. So, all right. Another thing that follow up from previous videos, I talked about the nether warts could only be grown in the nether. And that was an old version of Minecraft. That was the case. But um, lately, you can grow them in the overworld. They can o it can only be found in the nether, but it can be grown in the overworld. So here's our brewing area. I don't know. I just kind of had a little bit of fun with it. Um, the base potion or type that you need is um, nether wart. And then after that, depending on what you add to the nether wart, it gives you a different uh, effect. I'll put a, uh, a link to the graph or the diagram on Minecraft Wiki, which is fantastic. I'll also overlay it here just so you can kind of see pretty much uh, depending on what you add to it. I think uh, like sugar is is swiftness. And then if you make a glistening melon, that's regeneration. And then magma cube, which I haven't found anything. This is the only one I found. Gas tears, all that stuff. So just take a look at what you want to make. Um, and then you, you make your glass bottles and then you got to fill them up with, um, what's called, I think just an awkward potion is what they call it. But, um, Hmm. Why can't, there we go. And you put your water bottles down here. Uh, and then, oh wait, I need my, okay. This is one thing that's nice about the brewing stand is you can just leave stuff in there and it's going to do its thing. Um, let's see, where do we want to put my crafting bench? Um, can I get it? Would that be weird if I put it there? No, we'll just, we'll put it there. Just so I, it's easily accessible. So, uh, oh yeah, the other thing I want to show you is how you make sugar. Sugar is just, you take the sugar canes, what we use for making paper, and you just put it in your crafting and do sugar. There you go. Now you got sugar. Now you can make a fermented spider eye. It, Takes that, a regular brown mushroom, and sugar. There's your fermented spider eye. All right, so we're going to make the first base potion that you need for about everything. So you put your water bottles in there, and then you get your nether wart, and it's going to brew. And then we wait. We wait for it to brew. Um, 
I'll just be doing a, uh, a swift potion or speed potion. And then um, we'll just go from there. You can actually, one thing that you can do also is once you've brewed your your potion, it's a drink potion. And then if you want to make it a splash potion, you brew it with, um, there we go. We got our awkward potion. So it's a blank slate. Now, whatever we add to it is going to affect what, uh, oh, where did my sugar go? Oh, yeah, I used it for the, you know what? I'm just going to make all of this sugar. So there we go. Um, there we go. So now I can make three speed potions. And now these ones are going to be the ones that you can drink. And then, um, and then I'm going to make a splash potion. I'll show you how to do that. And pretty much the splash potion is just whatever you add to it or whatever you brew is going to turn into a splash. So you can also, then you, you can extend the effects. Let's see. I think it, it's the, um, let's see. You can then make them more powerful by adding glowstone dust, or you can extend the effects uh, by adding redstone dust. It all depends on what you do. Um, so now we got, we got um, we got the potion of swiftness in here, which is basically a speed potion. Now, if we wanted to make it faster, it's going to be a potion of swiftness two, but it's going to uh, half how long it goes. So this this will last for three minutes. It'll only last for a minute and a half. Or we can add redstone to it, which is why I have redstone here and glowstone over here. These are like the um, modifiers to extend it or intensify it. Those are the two options you have. And then if you add a fermented spider eye to it, it's going to give it a negative effect. Like just look at the diagram. I'll have it floating over the, the lower corner, but uh, check that out. It'll help you figure out all the stuff you need. Like if you mix it with magma cream, it's going to make potion of fire resistance, which is fantastic. I'm going to go in the nether in a bit here and look more for the magma cream because potion of fire resistance is fantastic. I don't think I'm going to... Um, I think I'd rather extend the effect. So I like to make it last longer. So we're gonna we're gonna brew it with a red piece of redstone. Now this is gonna make it eight minutes long. I think is what it's gonna do. Um, and then once that's done, I'm gonna do gunpowder. So it's a splash potion, which <clears throat> which is handy. It's quicker. You you could. Oh man, yawning here. Anyway. I don't use potions a whole lot uh, because so now look at that eight eight minutes and it increases my speed by twenty percent. Now I think if we do gunpowder, now it's gonna do its thing, and then it's gonna go. Um, it's gonna make it a splash potion, which is gonna change the bottle look a little bit. But you can just throw it at the ground, and then anybody who's in the area can get a uh, splash. So. That's it. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. There you go. Oh, and it, it reduces the effects a little bit um, when you make it a splash potion. But um, let's go out here. Um, yeah. There we go. Oh, it's nighttime. Hmm. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Let's go to sleep real quick. That's about it for the video. Uh, potions are, it's hard to remember all of them, but it's good to know that the po the the fire or the fermented spider eye, maybe we'll do that real quick. We got time, plenty of time in this video. Let's make another potion. Um, let's make potion of slowness since we got everything that we need for that. Now let's get some water and it's nice to have an infinite water source right by the brewery which is really nice and then we're going to add sugar to it and then i think let's extend the effects no let's let's intensify the effects and then let's make it negative so i don't think actually hold on um no, 
if we intensify, it's not going to work for when we make it negative. So, but we can extend it. We can extend the potion. Well, I'll show you that. It'll it'll end up the same. You can either modify it, no matter what how you modify it. Oh, mundane potion. Oh, whoops. Let's just okay. I skipped a step there. Um, that's another way to get the potion of weakness. That that'll get you a potion of weakness. So if you add anything, oops, I thought that would go there. Oh, gosh, I'm getting at, getting ahead of myself. All right, what we're gonna do is if you add anything to it before you add nether wart to it, I skipped that step. It'll give. It'll always end up at potion of weakness. And it'll start with no effect, and then you need to add a fermented spider eye to it to make this potion of weakness. You'll see that at the bottom of the diagram on the link. So now that we have that, now we're going to add sugar to it. And then that will, and then we'll, we'll make a negative effect. And then I'm, I'm going to make it a splash potion just because you don't want to drink it. So there we go. Now we got our awkward potion, which is what we start out with all the time. That starts everything. And that's going to give us the sugar, the swiftness, and then I'm going to add glowstone dust to it to uh, to intensify it. So it'll make it a swift two, which would be really nice. So that's 20% um, three minutes. So this will be, this will end up being, I think, I want to say 40%, but it's only going to last for a minute and a half, which is kind of a downer. But um, that's fine. Cause all we're going to do is we're going to add a fermented spider eye to it, which is going to make it a uh, slowness potion, which even if, if you go the fire resistance route and then you add fermented spider eye to it, it's going to make it potion of slowness. So there we go. 40% applied for a minute and a half, which is kind of nice. Now we're going to add the fermented spider eye to it. And then that's going to, uh, make it a potion of slowness. Now, this is going to be the extended potion of slowness. You can either, you can either, um, I'm just looking over the diagram here. The diagram is kind of confusing, but the color code thing is kind of nice. So there we go. Potion of slowness, negative uh, 15%, and then we're going to brew it, make it a splash potion, which is nice. I wonder, can you throw that at the dragon? That might be something to try. So I think that's about it uh, that we're going to go over today. I'm going to do the potion of swiftness outside real quick. I could, probably could have pulled one of those out, but it's kind of nice that it makes three at once. And it's only a minute seven on that potion of slowness, but it, it really slows them down. So let's, um, and then I'll get some milk so we can play with these potions really quick. Um, now I just use the basic, these ones just because that's kind of so there we go now we're a little bit faster um it's not much and then you can see the effect that you have up here so let's um let's milk my cow a cow real quick and you just hit get your bucket out right click on your cow and then you can drink that and that's going to remove any effects that you have which is kind of nice so let me uh milk the cow again and I'll do the potion of slowness. So, oh my goodness, we're running now. And it's about how fast we are. <laughs> walk. So that's the potion of slowness. That's the icon it goes. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the effect. And then our view will turn, return to normal. So that's about it. I think, uh, I think next week I'm going to go over... Um, I'm going to tidy up this this egg farm i'm gonna go over some complex uh foods like uh pies and cookies and stuff like that and then we're gonna do uh i think the week after that i'll do some finding some generated structures in the world like we've already found the village um uh, i want to show you there's a jungle temple as well as a a sand temple and you can find goodies in there um, and I want to show you how to disarm traps and stuff like that in there. And then I think we'll go to the nether. Um, but 
If you guys want to go to the nether and see the end dragon before all that, just let me know. Leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe below. I'm going to keep doing this this uh, tutorial series, and I uh, hope you guys are finding it helpful. Helpful? Help, helpful. So this is Cosmic Friends, and as always, enjoy the game. Uh -oh.